continuing on with our measurement unit, we're going to be solving for the perimeter and area of the composite shape at left. So we have a rectangle with a semicircle sitting on top, and we're gonna use the measurements that we've been given already to uh, finish labeling our diagram here. So along the bottom here, you can see that this is 16 centimeters. And we're gonna use that measurement to find out the diameter of our semicircle. So right here, this is our diameter. I'll just put a little point in the middle to show the center. So up here, we have six centimeters. And then down along the bottom, as we just labeled, we have 16 centimeters. So if we do 16 minus six, we're going to get 10. So this tells us that this portion right across here, this is going to be 10 centimeters. And that means that the radius of our semicircle is going to be five. And over at right here, we can also label this as seven centimeters. Okay, now that we have have everything fully labeled, we can get on with solving for the perimeter and the area of our composite shape. So for the perimeter part, we actually have most of the information here. Um, what we do need to do is we do need to find this part right here that I'm trying to highlight in green, which is the um, circumference of half of a circle or a semicircle. So let's just make note of that. So perimeter, we need to first find the missing circumference of the semicircle. And that is the part that we have highlighted in, whoops, that is not the correct button. The part that we have highlighted in green, okay? The missing circumference of the semicircle. So we are going to do that by using our formula for circumference. So our formula for circumference is pi times diameter or two times pi times radius. We are just going to use pi times diameter for now. And we actually need to find the circumference of a semicircle. So we are going to divide this by two. Because we only need half of it. So this is going to be the formula that we use. So I'm going to use 3.14 for pi. You may use the pi button if you wish. You'll get a slightly different answer than I do if you use that button. And our diameter is 10, and then we're gonna divide all of that by two. And we are going to get that the circumference is equal to 15.7 centimeters. Okay, so we found that. And so now we can calculate our total perimeter. So the total perimeter is going to be equal to seven plus 16 plus seven plus six plus 15.7. And that is going to give us 51.7 centimeters. Okay, so now we're done calculating the total. We are going to go on with calculating the area. So total area is going to be equal to the area of the semicircle and then plus the area of the rectangle. Oops, and it's getting a little squishy there. Okay, so formula for area of a semicircle. Well, area of a regular circle is pi r squared, and so we're just going to divide that by two. And the area of a rectangle is length times width. So again, I'm going to use 3.14 for pi, and we already figured out what the radius is because we labeled everything up above. Our radius is five. So we have 3.14 times five squared, all divided by two, and plus length times width. So our length is 16, and our width is seven. 
And remember, we need to follow bed mass. So we need to do our exponents first, unless our calculator is doing that for us. So five squared gives us 25. Now 16 times seven, that gives us 112. And 3.14 times 25 divided by two gives us 39.25. And then we're adding 112 to that. Okay, so we want to round to one decimal place for our last answer, our final answer, but notice that right there, I'm still keeping two decimal places. So you always try to save all of your rounding until the end um, where it is possible and where it kind of makes sense to do this. So if we add 39.25 plus 112 and we round that to one decimal place, we end up with approximately 151.3 centimeters squared. So that there, this is our total area. So let's write a therefore statement. So we have our total area, we have our total perimeter. Therefore, the perimeter is 51.7 centimeters and the area is 151.3 centimeters squared.